My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, I'm super excited because we are doing a yellowfin tuna pokey stack that is out of this world delicious. Presentation, a knockout, but so easy. And I'm pairing it with this Gruner Weltlanger that you will fall in love with, guaranteed. Let's get started. Right here, I have some yellowfin tuna. This is super important. This is sushi grade yellowfin tuna. You can eat this raw. You need to get to know your fishmonger. Now let's get started uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more about this. Now you see how the grain of the tuna is going this way. Now you want to go the opposite direction of the tuna steak and cut down for your slices. Uh, we're doing very small, tiny little slices with our pokey. So um, I do like two or three at a time, stack them like this, and then I just take them and then run your knife right down through. It's very, very tender, super sharp knife always to begin with. And this cut is actually called a saku cut um, from tuna. Now see these little tiny bite-sized pieces? This is, is exactly what we're looking for, these little tiny bite-sized pieces. That's what we want. Now the saku cut is Japanese for a block. It is the best cut, uh, usually made for sushi, uh, for eating raw, but uh, you, you can find the tuna that your fishmonger recommends that you could eat raw. Let me finish on the rest of this, cutting this up. I have a sweet onion here and we're just going to shave as you can see like I'm doing right here about a tablespoon of some delicious Maui sweet onion that is going to go in our amazing tuna. Along with our Maui onion here I am going to do a scallion. I am going to do just its uh, light green and mild flavors. We're just going to go down here on a bias angle and cut some nice little thin slices very mild and brings a beautiful color to the pokey tower now let's work on the super simple marinade in the bowl here i have some soy sauce or uh, you can put tamari whatever you'd like in there and to that you want to add a little bit of toasted sesame oil this just gives a ton of flavor to the pokey it really does but you don't want to overdo the sesame oil because it can get a little on the strong side so now to that for a little spice this is optional if you want or not I'm putting some sambal in there which is a chili oil uh, and it gives a touch of heat but you don't want to overpower it and last but not least just a very little bit of dark or sweet soy and it is a soy sauce that is thick it looks like molasses so it's not like your normal uh, soy sauce which is the light soy sauce that was first in the bowl this that gives a touch of sweetness to it so let's add our tuna back in. I keep on wanting to say ahi tuna. This is a yellowtail tuna. Once again, saku, which means block in Japan, which is uh, one of the best cuts of uh, the actual tuna. Perfect, perfect for this poke bowl and sashimi and everything that we're doing right here. Now to this, I just want to stir it around in our sauce. I don't like to sauce to overpower the tuna either. Everything should be slight enhancements, not overpowering. 
some toasted sesame seeds going in, white or black, your choice. Uh, macadamia nuts, a little on the Hawaiian twist to this, uh, crushed up in there. And then we did our scallion and our Maui onion, a touch of salt, not much. Remember, we have that dark soy and the soy sauce that has a ton of sodium in it. And that is it. That is it for our simple marinade. But it is so flavorful. So flavorful. You will love this. Now, you want to just wrap this in plastic right now. Uh, we'll place it in the fridge for a minimum of two hours, at least two hours, so the flavors can infuse inside the tuna. Let's get start working on our avocado layer here. I have an avocado, work with two small avocados for this. And uh, I have a fun little trick here of, of actually taking the avocado, instead of cubing everything, that's trash down there by the way, <laughs> if you didn't know where I was throwing it. I wasn't throwing it on the floor, I swear to you. So right here is uh, the avocado. And I don't feel like doing a whole bunch of slices and everything. So I just go like this, go like this, go all the way through, and take a look at that. Look at the cubes, all the way perfectly done. And it's laying in the bottom and I plastic wrap in there and then I don't have to worry about chopping them the perfect size. This is so much fun. So let me finish the rest of these. Now, as soon as you get your avocado cut up, get some lime juice on it because it, it stops it from turning brown and oxidizing. So you want a good tablespoon of lime juice. This lime doesn't seem to be giving me that much juice. And I even rolled it to squeeze out a lot of the juice. So there we go, finally. So we want definitely get that lime juice on there to stop that from oxidizing. I have a Fresno red chili pepper I diced up. I'm gonna throw in. If you don't like heat, it's like a red jalapeno. Just uh, throw in uh, a red bell pepper for some extra color. And just some salt. It's that simple. That is it for this layer. Just a little lime juice, a little Fresno chili, and salt with this avocado because there's so much flavor going through the rest of this stack. You don't want too many bold flavors going on. Now, to set that aside, I wanna show you my real quick, easy, uh, I call it a cheat. I think I showed you this before. And we need cooked rice. So I did this a couple hours ago and let it cool down. In the microwave, I have some basmati rice here. You can choose whichever one you want. Um, Two minutes in the microwave, it's done. I mean, how simple can it be? And the rice turns out delicious, believe it or not. It's very good. So you wanna have your rice, and now we have all of our layers ready. Before we create our pokey stack, let's talk about the Gruner Weltliner. This is an Austrian white wine that is out of this world fabulous. Well, the nose right away, I'm getting green apple on the nose. Mm. And taste more green apple, lemon, definitely hints of lemon with a little pepper, but not a black pepper. It's like pepper from like arugula, like an arugula pepper. This is going to pair up with our pokey tower. Fabulously guaranteed. I can't wait for you to try this one. Now it's time to stack. I have a three inch stack right here. I'm gonna spray a little bit on the inside. It just makes it easier, I think, for everything to slide out with a little bit of cooking spray, something that doesn't have a, like a taste to it, like a canola oil, anything like that. Now I'm gonna put my rice in there. My, my tip on the rice to use would be more of along the lines of not what I chose, a basmati rice, because uh, I love the flavor of basmati. More of like a sticky rice, so it holds together. You want it to hold together when it comes out of the frame right here. Let me get rid of that rice that fell off to the side. So push that down, and then our avocado layer is going in. 
So we got an avocado layer gonna go in. We've got our, our tuna layer sitting there on the side. This is going to be delicious. I love, it's getting to be warm outside. This is like a nice little uh, light dinner or a lot of people do this. I do this at appetizers, sometime for appetizers. So now we get our tuna that's been marinating in the fridge there. Oh yes, I can just dive right into this tuna on its own. It is so delicious it really really is okay let's just push down on that let me see if i can overfill it which is never a good idea when you overfill things <laughs> that i know from experience that piece is going in my mouth okay now we just push down push down on it lift push down and lift and voila, look at that tower. Is that beautiful? Now, to make it even more beautiful, we'll add a few microgreens on top, a few microgreens, a little more of the toasted sesame seeds, and then maybe a beautiful, beautiful flower to go along with that. And to Panzu sauce, which is nice, a nice little citrusy sauce right at the bottom of the plate. Just to fill the bottom of the plate. That is it. Look at that. That is one amazing yellowfin tuna stack. I am ready to dive in. Before I inhale this whole tower of tuna, I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. And don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because I have a new recipe every Tuesday and that notifies you. Let's get started. Okay. Bye bye tower. I'm destroying it just so you know. I got to get a little bit of everything and down into that ponzu sauce. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm. You are going to love, love, love this guaranteed. Thanks so much for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff. And we'll see you next week.